Wonder Boy. Stephen Wonder Boy Thompson. It's playing Kevin Holland on Saturday, man. It's gonna be interesting. I mean, I got I got Kevin Holland. I really like Wonder Boy, but I think for me, you know, Joe Rogan was saying the other day something that I felt for a long time. Like one of the reasons I like MMA is because it's like a chess match and it keeps evolving so in the very beginning you know my kids were young and i watched it but it i don't know it offended me a little bit i felt like it was kind of too brutal i think because my kids were young it kind of kind of messed with me because hey, it's a long story but i used to get in a million fights blah 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 and i came to realize that I wasn't the victim I was the aggressor it was it was me and I started to really like it and it's like a like an addiction and I understand why fighters fight because once you get that then you start basically being addicted to it any of my friends would tell you it's like you couldn't take me anywhere I was always looking for a fight which is just so ridiculous and stupid but but it took me a long time to get past it. And and I think when my kids were young, the culmination of those two things made it so that it was kind of hard for me to watch some fights. One of my friends, this kid, Chris, uh, when it first started, would always give me the DVDs when they came out, you know, to watch. And I loved it, but I was offended by it. I, I don't know. I had all these, whatever. When you're young, you got all this stuff in your head. But the point is that... Uh, Joe Rogan was talking about something I figured out years ago. I love the chess match of it. That's what I really enjoy. And that's why I don't tend to watch things that don't have as many pieces. So MMA in general, nowadays especially, to me is the ultimate. I would rather watch that than boxing or BJJ or whatever because there's so many different variables in a really good MMA match. People that have varied skill sets man it is so it's so high level that every single time you watch a match like that a fight like that you're if you view it how i do my brain is like a thousand miles an hour when it's going on i'm thinking well i could have turned this way could have done that one it, it's like it's like watching a chess match or playing chess to me i totally know what he meant when he was saying that because i think of it exactly the same way um so the way I view it is I I love Wonder Boy, but I think the sport is evolving so fast that it's evolving past his expertise in his skill set. So he he's like an expert of his skill set. But the problem is is that like the wide stance for example, that's not so practical with the evolution. It it leaves you kind of vulnerable in in some areas um he isn't super high level on the ground that leaves him vulnerable in some areas um there's there's a lot of things you know man, his stance is probably the one that's really oof. it you know the hands down the hands down is great because he can throw shots from places you can't see him because his hands are down but the other side is it leaves you a percentage open. So, I mean, it's great that there's, you know, mixed martial arts, meaning that all these different styles and disciplines coming together. And I love that. But but there's some things that have evolved. Like, I know there are different weight classes and all these different things. I'm just going to bring some people up. Like, let's say you took someone like Islam, who is fairly mixed in his stuff, obviously, the thing that stands out is his wrestling. But, but he can strike. He can he can do a lot of different things. If you put someone like Islam in with Wonder Boy, I mean, how would that go? Oof. Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky is really well rounded. That's why he's pound for pound because he's he can do a lot of stuff, different types of things. You put those two together. And all things being equal, that probably wouldn't go well. You, you see what I'm saying? I think that it's evolved past Wonder Boy, and I hope Wonder Boy's 
somewhere near retirement. He's got a great record kickboxing. He's done so much for MMA, and I really love to watch him. I just, I don't want to see him get hurt. You know, I don't want to see him lose. I mean, I can deal with if he loses. He can deal with it with his losses. He's been very cool about when he loses. Um, But, man... I hope he's kind of getting to the end because I don't want to see a bunch of bad stuff. I like the guy way too much. That that would kind of bug me if he was getting knocked out left and right and stuff like that. But the other thing is the things he's done has really helped to evolve the sport as far as I'm concerned. You know, that high level coming in, so many people have watched him and learned. Like, <clears throat> I've always uh, years ago thought, that switching stances is uh, just so helpful because when you, depending on who the fighter is, when you switch stances in the middle of a round, you are changing the way per, the, per, the other person has to react to you. So you may have, you might be predominantly left-legged. So you throw your best or hardest uh, kicks with your left leg. So when you switch stances, it switches switches the tools that you're using and the person has to react to it. And if they're not good at reacting on the fly, you've already got a leg up on them, so to speak. That's silly, but <laughs> you get my point. And Wonder Boy switches like 10 times all the time. He's like all over the place, which is fascinating. He obviously took a lot of time in perfecting that particular small set of skills of being able to to be high level in different stances and being able to you know because the bottom line is it's all about rhythm if you can't find your rhythm rhythm you're not going to do as well it's a huge leg up to be in your head in your rhythm the problem is every time you have a rhythm the person can get your rhythm if you're switching stances like that all the time, it helps to throw off that other person understanding your rhythm. And it's just, it's, man, it's super high level chess. Just, I don't know. I love Wonder Boy. I hope it, this is a good fight. I, I hope that, you know, Kevin Holland doesn't beat the living crap out of him. I mean, I, I think Holland's going to win and I want to see him win. Or I'm fine with either one of them winning, to be honest with you, because I like them both. But, you know, I hope he's just, <laughs> I hope it isn't like a career ending kind of a thing because I get a little worried. When you're, when you're in one specific skill set in MMA, I feel like it, it leaves you very vulnerable to a, a scary ending. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm definitely can't wait to see it. <laughs>